hello my loves welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title of this video this is going to be an aquarius reading this is a general timeless reading so whenever you find this is meant for you also this is for any aquarius placement so sun moon rising venus north node lilith you name it okay or you could just be curious i am going to meditate to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading so if you're comfortable feel free to breathe in and out with me Okay, let's get started Aquarius. So I have been doing channeling in my own personal life um, and I thought it would be a good idea to bring it to my channel and just to share what the channel messages that I get for each sign during their reading. So for this week, Aquarius, I, I want to say it's more of like a download. So the energy that I felt from Aquarius was actually 10 of swords which is like a car i know it's interesting but that just kept on popping in my head when i thought of aquarius and usually the usually the 10 of swords can represent like actually feeling stabbed in the back but at the same time it means that you are you are healing and becoming very victorious Aquarius hopefully, hopefully that makes sense how I'm how I'm explaining it to you guys okay so it seems like that maybe you guys feel betrayed or something like that um, but you're healing um, you're feeling good about yourself you may have met a new person I wanted to say for some reason that popped in my head so that could be a romance that could be family member that could be a friendship that could be a new business partner okay but for whatever reason you guys may have feel felt that you were betrayed or you could have actually been portrayed um but it looks like things are looking up for you okay so that's kind of the download that i have for you guys for this reading okay so let's get started um we're going to take three cards for the general reading and then an outcome and then we'll move on to your love reading okay during your pre-shuffle um the ace of cups came out and the eight of wands okay so you could have a new start in love or you could be trying to manifest love okay um with the eight of wands you could be expecting to talk to someone or someone could be wanting to reach out to you okay um, we have coming out first the seven of swords for you we have coming out after that the knight of cups okay so this looks like this could be a love reading and then we have the four of swords okay and we'll take one card for your outcome aquarius Okay, are we gonna get a card? I'm gonna take that one. Okay, nine of wands for your outcome. So with the seven of swords, it's definitely something hidden. Well, okay, well that makes sense now. Okay, so the seven of swords, um, somebody could have hid something from you, kept a lot of secrets from you in the past. I honestly don't feel like that this is present energy. I'm gonna be honest with you, Aquarius. The Knight of Cups, um, you could have someone coming into your environment that is very romantic. Um, that car for me is like my Mr. or Mrs. Um, Miss Romance. That's usually what I refer to it. So they're everything you would hope for in a fairy tale. Um, they tend to kind of sweep you off your feet with just a lot of romance, okay? Not usually what people try to associate with Aquarius, okay? And I'm actually an Aquarius myself, but I believe Aquarius are very romantic, okay? Once we get comfortable with somebody and it's somebody that we truly want to pursue, but we aren't romantic with everyone. It's very selective, okay? And some other people are very romantic just in general, okay? um so you could have had someone keep secrets from you in the past and that could have been the person that you felt very betrayed from aquarius okay but 
for some reason, I feel like things are looking at, looking up for you just with the nine of wands being in your, in your outcome Aquarius. That means that um, you have been very resilient. Um, you have continued to push forward and either you will have a positive outcome or you've already experienced a, po a positive outcome already from the situation. So I feel that you've learned a lesson from the encounter with the person um, and you learned that it wasn't important for you to take the pain or look at it as being a betrayal as we mentioned in the opening of the video but more of a lesson to push you towards self-love and self-care okay with the four of swords being out there i feel like you've definitely taken some time to heal yourself um, and to love yourself more um and now you've kind of just taken it as just like a learning lesson okay which is beautiful because that's really how we should take our encounters with other people or situations. Uh, we shouldn't really harbor on them. Um, and I want to, uh, the word nesting, and it's because I'm looking at this car, but I think the word nesting means to like be pregnant and staying at home. That's what I think it means. I'm not really too sure, but I think that that's the definition of it. And I'm not sure why that's coming to mind. Okay. So, that could be uh happening for some aquarius right now you could be giving birth or wanting to um pregnant i should say or be or want to get pregnant excuse me um and that was some energy that came up in the previous reading as well too okay so that might be very true for a lot of aquarius watching okay but definitely past energy of the seven of swords um i don't feel like that there is any betrayal energy um in your environment right now take that how that resonates but that's just the energy that i'm picking up on in the cards um so if you have some fear about people that you think may be betraying you or they will in the future or you're not very trusting of that knight of cups that popped out in the center because he he is the center of the reading and i say he but it's just don't get caught up in general okay it's just more about the drawings on the cards um, you could be not wanting to trust that person because of past energy. Okay. And we have to, we have to ask ourselves, Aquarius, um, if that's coming from a place of fear or, or if they are actually showing us signs that they are untrustworthy. Okay. So we have to know the difference between that Aquarius. So keep that in mind um beautiful energy i feel like that you're loving yourself you're taking care of yourself you're putting yourself first and maybe that's why you're not so focused so much on the knight of cups but this is your general reading and love is kind of popping out here for you okay because i don't have any pinnacles or anything like this so i don't think this is anything about work or anything it could be about a family or a friend you could have felt betrayed by someone in the past okay and you could not be wanting to trust other people um in your present or going forward okay but like i said earlier just just be mindful of that energy and um if it's coming from a healthy healed place okay um let's go ahead and do your love reading and then see what other energy that we get from that okay that card fell out queen of cups okay so this card literally means to lead with your heart aquarius okay so make sure that you're leading with your heart um and you are actually surrendering to what the universe has for you and, and all of its positive vibes okay um don't focus on the negativity with the eight of cups that's something that you need to walk away from if you are still holding on to um hurt pain feelings of being betrayed if you were in the past or fear of being betrayed right now in your present day okay so we're i'm gonna do the love reading a little bit different just so we have clearer messages and everyone is able to follow so i'm gonna pull a card um for your emotions i'm gonna pull a card for the person you're thinking about or future person if you haven't met it, met the person and then i'm gonna pull a blockage for you and a blockage for your person or or future person okay i don't know why you will be wanting to um know a future blockage for the person coming in but okay <laughs> but we'll see though okay so i'm going to get a total of four cards and maybe we'll pull a card for outcome for clarity for love reading okay. i have two 
to, I'm going to do it that way. Uh, we'll just take one and then one outcome. I feel drawn to take that card too. I'm not sure why. So we're going to take five today. Okay. So we'll get two cards for outcome, but I just felt a reason to, to take one of the cards as well too. Okay. So let's see what your emotions is. Okay. Three of pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's that pinnacle energy that I mentioned in the, um, in your general. Um, so that did come out in the love. Um, I feel like that you really do want to work with this person. It could be somebody that you already know, Aquarius, possibly with that energy. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Again, that is so crazy. So I was like, oh, it's no Pentacles in the general reading. And then we get it out in the love reading. Okay. That's very intriguing. So Eight of Pentacles is your blockage, Aquarius. So that shows me that you are focusing a lot on yourself or work or a combination of both. But that's interesting because you do want to work with the person, but in your blockage right now is the Eight of Pentacles. So <sighs> timing, honestly, I'm going to be very transparent with you. Timing could be all for you. Um, it could just not be in the universe's plan right now for you to come together with that person. Um, but I feel like you're a very wise and very knowledgeable person, Aquarius. So I feel like that you may understand that. So your intentions is to work with the person um, or kind of come together in union, I should say, with the three of pentacles, but your blockage right now is yourself. Um, There's some things that you need to tie up or wrap up. It could be a part of your healing process or you could be working on something as far as uh, finances, starting up a new business, starting a new job, you could maybe have a lot of projects on your plate, plate at work right now. Um, and that's kind of hindering you from kind of doing anything outside of just focusing on yourself and work. And sometimes that happens, Aquarius, okay? I'm not sure if the person knows this, okay? So that might be something that you need to possibly talk to the person about, okay? Um, if you do know the person or if you guys are in a bond, if it's someone that you haven't met, then that's probably why you haven't met them because you're still working on yourself and working on your finances, okay? Sometimes certain things have to line in place in order for you to get to that Ten of Pentacles um, with someone, okay? And you're almost there because we start off with the Three of Pentacles with your current emotion and how you feel about the person and wanting to come together. And then we shift into your blockage of Eight of Pentacles, okay? So eventually you will shift out of the Eight of Pentacles and into and into the Ten of Pentacles. So you will have um, you will have it all. So you will be uh, stable and prosperous mentally, physically, and spiritually, okay, after you get to that Ten of Pentacles stage. So how how are they feeling right now? Three of Cups, okay. This is usually my friendship card, but since this is a love reading for Aquarius, and I sometimes do feel Aquarius energy just because I feel like Aquarius' um, friendship is very important to us, and just the drawings on the card, um, purple, it just, it represents a lot of Aquarius to me, okay? So you could be dealing with an actual Aquarius. Um, there is an energy of three between both of you guys because you have the three of Pentacles Aquarius and they have the three of cups, okay? So just Pentacles mean earth energy it could represent money as well finances cups is usually represented by love to me um so it seems like that your energy is pinnacles their energy is 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 love right now it is three i don't feel like it, it is a third party energy the third party energy could just be your need to focus on your finances and career and your self right now i know that's kind of odd but i don't feel the energy that it's really a third person involved it could possibly be take it how it resonates but that's just not the energy i'm picking up on um the person does want a very close bond with you okay you guys could already be friends just just because i have the three of cups coming up on the table for you guys so um 
they could view you as a friend or, or you guys could already know each other okay because it seems like the energy from you you and you and your person i should say um is both of wanting to work together to become closer um to have a closer a closer bond um so that's energy of someone i feel like you would already know um for those who haven't met the person it is the energy that you want to have a very close connection with the person okay you want it to feel like a best friend or some sort of a partnership which i know we would all think that that's something that would be like a top priority for most people in like their bonds with people but it depends on the stage that you are at in your life Aquarius okay if you're still healing you may focus on things from a place of fear not a place of love so that might not be something that's on at the top of your list Aquarius um, in the person's blockage we have number two the high priestess okay this is Pisces energy for me so more more of the water energy okay so you seem very grounded um, very logical very practical very of aquarius um but i feel like it's something that's on your mind but it's just not the right time for you to make a move okay the other person seems more emotional about the connection aquarius to be honest just with the high priestess coming out um they do want to follow their intuition about the bond okay they could feel that them aligning with you is a part of their purpose or something that has been aligned by god for their higher self okay that could be a blockage for them um trying to align with their higher self which is interesting because eight of pentacles is to do self-work or it could literally be work if we're talking about finances here um but the high priestess is to me represents you aligning with your higher self and with god okay also um she does keep secrets okay um but it's more to me how i look at it as is she knows all and she sees all okay but anybody could be a high priest or a high priestess so don't get caught up on like the her you know it's just how i'm wording it based off the pictures that, that's what i'm trying to say aquarius um, so it looks like in both of you guys blockage is spirituality or some type of self work, I should say. OK, so that leads back to me um, thinking that it could be just not the timing for you guys from the universe. OK, so it's just some things that need to kind of line up before you guys can fully connect but i feel like that you may already know each other okay if you don't that just means that you and the person that you have not met okay um are still doing self-work okay and when you guys have evolved to your higher self and align with god then you guys will come into union okay the seven of swords this could be some past energy just with the high priestess coming out um and it meaning like a little bit of hidden secrets so it could be if this is past energy then it honestly Aquarius it, it just depends on if you want to focus on that person and rekindle connections okay I know everyone watches me might want to rekindle some people may not want to um some people may be in a current connection so it just depends okay so but that definitely relates back to um your general reading and with the knight of cups this could be that high priestess three of cups energy that we have in the love reading let's see what's for your outcome wow okay eight of wands that's what came out in the pre-shuffle so there will be fast moving communication okay very soon so a call a text or you guys will see each other in person okay if you haven't met this person and you don't know who they is who they are excuse me um you will meet them very soon aquarius that is what the reading is saying that you guys are finishing up that cycle of a lot of healing and self-work and you guys are going to come to come into union or at least come to meet each other okay to build that bond five of wands okay a lot of wands energy okay so pinnacles wands and then cups interesting so taking the initiative five of wands 
as the second card is your outcome Aquarius could mean that you will be leveling up with this, this person it could be some competition or just a lot of attention but when I'm thinking about it now Aquarius it could mean that you will be getting a lot of attention from this person or vice versa or you guys could be giving a lot of attention to building the bond together um, or just yeah to try to give more attention to each other that's that's what was coming in my mind i'm sorry Aquarius, if it just popped out like that um because it seems like that you guys are really not on the same like not on the same page like you guys both want the same thing but i feel like you guys are ex not really expressing it at all <laughs> there's a lack of conversation going on between the both of you guys to be honest with you um, so I feel like that the five of wands in this case means that you guys will be giving more attention to the bond. Okay. So positive energy for me. Um, most definitely. I don't feel anything negative from this, um, reading. I think it will be a very beautiful connection Aquarius. I just think that it'll take a little bit of time. Okay. So just be patient and maybe explain to this person, um, just like the challenges and obstacles that obstacles excuse me that you're going through right now Aquarius okay you could have some problems expressing yourself because I just had a tough time getting that okay and I am an Aquarius myself and sometimes um depending on your placements it, it could be different from every Aquarius but uh I would say this in a most loving way that isn't our strong suit in expressing ourselves in our bonds in that sector okay so we can express ourselves with friends and family members and everything like that but with romance it's such a deep bond um just naturally as Aquarius we tend to hold very deep emotions um so you could be very challenged about expressing yourself okay so when the time comes when you are able to um, talk to that person or when they come talk to you or if it's just a mutual thing um, express yourself okay um, beautiful energy just in time for birthday season if I didn't already say this happy birthday to my January Aquarius is okay I am a Feb February one so I'll be a little bit later okay um, if this video resonated with you please let me know in the comment section below I would truly appreciate it if you guys did comment share like and subscribe okay and if you have not heard this today Aquarius you are loved and you are cherished okay until next time my loves bye bye